my name is Nia. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. Y'all, oh my goodness. I have not filmed a video in over two weeks and it is just struggle bus city over here. So I filmed like half of this video and I realized that I didn't have my microphone on and I'm a perfectionist. I wanted that microphone to be on so then I had to go and do it over again. And then when I was just looking at the film, I realized I wasn't looking in the camera. I was looking at the viewfinder. Um, and just little things that I had trained myself not to do because of consistency, it's like, it's off. And so I'm really going to try my best to commit to being more consistent while also trying my best not to fail all of my classes because this is my last semester of grad school. So that is why I have not been on in a while. I was thinking that maybe if I focused on just grad school for a couple weeks, I could get my like give my grade a good bump and get ahead of things so that I could kind of just have smooth sailing. And I did not do that. I didn't get ahead of things. So I think that I just need to keep myself on a regimented schedule and that's what's going to make me more productive. But anyway, enough with my life. Today we're just going to drink some um, LaCroix because today is the Super Bowl and I'm getting lit with my husband tonight. And so, you know, pacing taking things slow. <laughs> so we're just having some LaCroix and we are talking about this DIY hair oil. So I told you all before that my hair grows slower than others, but I do feel like in 2020, I had the most hair growth like ever. Like it was growing out of my head the fastest that it has ever had like grown in my entire life. So that made me get start thinking like, are there different things that I can do to just get my hair to grow out of my head faster. I'm retaining length. I know that I'm not experiencing breakage, but I was wondering if there are things I could do to get my hair to grow out my hair faster or grow out my head faster and thicker. And something that I stumbled upon was herb infused hair oils. I found these on Instagram once. I saw a, um, a picture of a person who who makes them um, but she did not disclose all the ingredients in her products and I just kind of didn't like that so I decided to go and make my own especially after watching Casey Aaliyah's video on how she made like uh, herb infused like hair butter I thought okay I could do this and so then I got started upon like researching and looking at things or looking at herbs that would be beneficial in the hair there were quite a few herbs that I was seeing over and over again whenever I was looking up different herbs that have been seen to promote hair growth and have certain benefits for the scalp and the hair. Um, I was not really trying my best to get peer-reviewed research. I was just trying to make sure that the that the, the articles seem somewhat credible. After about a little bit of, you know, looking at different articles, some of my favorite ones, I decided to link in the description box of this video, so you'll find them below. After about a little bit of time of looking up um, herbs that would be beneficial to help stimulate hair growth and really good for the scalp and all the great things. I was noticing a pattern with a couple of herbs and so I wanted to make sure that these herbs were definitely included in my hair oil and those were fenugreek, <laughs> I know I pronounced that wrong, henna and um, hibiscus leaves and then neem seeds. So all these different things had different properties that I wanted to make sure I included in the um, the hair oil. For example, the fenugreek, it said that, and I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, it says that this herb can really help stimulate the hair growth by stimulating like the follicles and the blood circulation in the scalp. The henna, it was said to help balance the pH levels of the scalp, which I didn't even think about my scalp having pH levels. Scientists, you know, drag me below, but I didn't even think about that. The hibiscus has vitamins in it and antioxidants that they said was really good for the scalp and hair growth and could actually help thicken your hair because of just those nutrients. And there was the neem seeds or neem herbs and I really wanted to try this because it said that it had really great benefits when it came to repairing um, damaged scalp and I was excited to try this because you know, you never know when you're going to have any damage to your scalp. Maybe I'll retighten my hair too tight and I'll damage my scalp in whatever way. But I was a little iffy on it because it said that it could cause acute dermatitis on the scalp. But it just depends on, you know, what your hair does. And I will say since I have been using this, I have not experienced that with my hair. Now, one herb that I really hoped to include in my um, oil that I didn't and I'll, I'll tell you a little bit why later was rosemary. I really want to make an oil that has rosemary in it because rosemary was said to stimulate hair growth but then also really help with hormone related hair loss. As you all know I would like to have a baby soon um, or eventually whatever. <laughs> 
I'm not pregnant. That's not why I'm drinking this. But um, you all know that. And something that happens, you all know probably, is that when you have a baby, some people experience uh, hair loss. And that's just something that happens. People also experience hormonal hair loss as they get older. Just different reasons for like hormones changing in the body can result in hair loss. And so since that was something that I am looking into, something that I want to be on the horizon for me eventually, um, I really wanted to include that. But I didn't because what I decided to do was I decided to buy um, a hair growth oil like packet. And I got this on Amazon. I will have the one that I have linked below. I got the Yogi's Gift hair oil or hair herb mix. And I got that because it just included a lot of the herbs that I really wanted to include in my hair oil mix. And it was just a small amount of them and it was really, really affordable. Now, I looked up what it would be like for me to actually go out there and buy that individually. And this is online. I haven't gone to any like farmer's markets. Like I'm pretty sure the farmer's market that we have around here would have like some some things like this, like dried herbs and stuff. I can definitely see them having that there for bulk for a small, I mean, for um, a pretty affordable price. But since I didn't want a lot of it, it was really affordable for me to get just the, the little packet with a lot of herbs included in it. So it included all of the herbs that I spoke about except for rosemary as, as well as a lot of other herbs that I suggest you all go look into as well. So I decided to go that route, but I do think I will try this again and I am definitely gonna add some rosemary. I'm already making one for my mom. And I think I'm going to try to include some rosemary in that one. Here is how I did it. First of all, there are directions on the back of the kit in case you are a direction following lady or gentleman. Um, but I am not a direction following person. So I just decided to put the, the oils in the amount that I wanted to and the amount of herbs I wanted to. And we were just going to make it do what it did. And so, um, yeah. There, there are directions on the back if you would like to do that, but what I did is I decided to only use half of a package. I thought that this would be fine because the packages come with like a little Ziploc seal, and I thought that if I used those herbs quickly that it would be fine that I already opened the package. And like I've already started to make my next batch with that package that I opened, so I think that we're good to go. So what I decided to do is I decided to take half of it, and I'm trying to make sure I get an even amount of each herb in in my mixture and i add that to the bottom of a mason jar i thought a mason jar would be the perfect thing to i guess allow this oil mixture to sit because it's going to need to sit for a while you're also going to want to shake it a few times over time as it sits so i got a mason jar and i put about half of one of the plastic packages of herbs in that now it comes with two plastic packages two plastic zip packages and um, I put about half of one in there. After I added my herbs, I added my oils. I decided to go with a mixture of argan oil, jojoba oil, and olive oil. If you would like to know my thoughts on my favorite oils, I will link that below. I will say I would prefer um, a different mixture and I'll tell you about that, but first let me get into the amount that I put in. As you can see, I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not giving exact measurements. I was going for about two tablespoons of um, of Jamaican black castor oil. I realized I said argan oil the first time, but I meant to say Jamaican black castor oil. So I'm taking about two tablespoons of that and I'm adding it to the bottom. And then I'm gonna add my jojoba oil. Actually now, after I made this, I wish I would have included more jojoba oil because I think it would have helped cut the smell of the Jamaican black castor oil and the olive oil. I really don't like the smell of Jamaican black castor oil and olive oil. But I added about um, about two and a half tablespoons, a little bit more actually, maybe about four tablespoons, three or four tablespoons of the um, jojoba oil. I wanted it to be slightly more than the argan oil. So I wanted to have a little bit of arc, um, I keep on saying argan oil, of the Jamaican black castor oil. Argan oil is apparently on my mind. So I wanted to have like a little amount of the Jamaican black castor oil and then slightly more of the jojoba oil and then finishing off with about uh, like mm, one and a half cups or a little bit over one cup of olive oil. And so that is what I put 
for my mixture and then I sealed it up, I shook it around and I let it sit for over a week. Now, I wasn't planning on letting it sit over a week, but it doesn't matter. Like the longer it sits, it's it should be good to go because it said on the package that you could still allow the herbs to sit in the oils and continue to infuse with the oils as you're using it. It just suggested that you um, let it sit for at least 48 hours for the herbs to infuse. So I left mine in for like over a week and I was just shaking it every now and then. And I also put it in front of a window because the heat could help transfer um, or the heat could help the herbs infuse into the oils better. So I put it in front of a window. I don't know how much heat it got because I am in the middle of a flirt of a frozen tundra right now. Like many of us who live in the Midwest, it is like, honestly, it's snowing right now. I wish I could have used grapeseed oil in replace of the olive oil and that is because I just think grapeseed oil has a more tolerable smell but I didn't have any on hand now I will say if you don't like the smell and you want to kind of like cut it with something adding some of your favorite essential oils may help I will say that my skin my scalp is somewhat sensitive to a lot of um essential oils like I still put essential oils on my scalp like I do like the lion locks oil and that has some essential oils in it it's just a heavy amount of essential oil so I kind of want to monitor how much essential oils I'm putting on my scalp like for example the um, Dr. Locks leave-in that I use I believe it has essential oils in it too so if I'm going to use that and I'm going to use the lion locks I'm only going to use the lion locks on my scalp and then I am not going to spray any of the Dr. Locks on my scalp so I don't have an excess amount of essential oils on my scalp. Since I am using quite a few products that have essential oils right now, I decided to not put any in this. But if you are not sensitive to essential oils on your skin, go for it. You'll just have to figure that out like if your skin is something that is sensitive to essential oils. But anyway, so I decided to um, not put any essential oils in it, so I kind of wish I had grapeseed oil. I will say that when I'm using it, since I'm primarily using it on my scalp and hot oil treatments, I um, it's not the smell isn't that intolerable because I'm either just putting it on my scalp or I'm washing it out. Yeah. After I let it sit for those few days, I poured my um, my mixture into this bottle, which I think is super duper cute. I wanted something clear because I think that this mixture is just beyond beautiful to look at. So I knew I wanted to buy a clear bottle. I bought these on Amazon and I'll have them linked below. So I picked up these, they come in different colors. They have also like a translucent amber color that I think would be really pretty as well. But for this time, I decided to go with a completely clear look. And so I'm gonna pour my mixture. Actually, I'm gonna first pour it into a measuring cup because I think that made it easier for me to pour it into this because as you can see the opening of this bottle is fairly small and so I wanted to make sure that I poured it in as neatly as possible so I poured it into a measuring cup first and then I poured it in and then it got messy it just is what it is like if you could find one of these with a, a bigger um, opening I think that would be best because this opening is so small that like I literally had to like push my herbs in there with my hands and it, after a while it was actually kind of fun but it made a pretty big mess and like my hands were like super greasy afterwards that's how you're gonna have to get it in if you're going with something this small but it didn't take long it took like less than two minutes to push all the herbs in there and make sure the herbs get inside of the bottle so how do I feel about this so far? I told you all I wanted to buy it because I thought that maybe it would help stimulate hair growth. And I feel really uncomfortable saying, yes, it makes my hair grow faster. I see a lot of people on here, honestly, more in the natural hair community. Community, I'm thinking of one of actually one of my favorite natural hair YouTubers. I really like her, but like she'll get on camera all the time and say, this will make your hair grow. This makes your hair grow like so fast and yada, yada, yada. When I don't want to say that unless I'm 100% sure. And here's why I'm not 100% sure that this made my hair grow faster. One, I still haven't been able to really accurately assess how fast my hair grows on its own. So when I'm retightening, I realize that like I could take the new growth that I have in between retightenings and use that as a measure, but I've been doing a really poor job of keeping up with my retightenings at the exact same amount of time like having them exactly seven weeks apart so that is not accurate like if i'm comparing four weeks of new growth to seven weeks of new growth also 
I can retighten tighter and at times I realize like oh so today I retighten really really tight and so my new growth takes a little bit longer to grow out as opposed to like a looser retie where I still have some new growth that is actually in between um, what I've retightened in my scalp. So then that's not an accurate read. Now, I don't wanna say that this has made my hair grow faster because I don't want to tell you all a lie, but for some reason, and I'm not 100% sure, sure, I feel like my hair is thickening up. Um, look at my edges, and I know my, I mean, you all have seen my edges before, but this is like after a pretty recent retie so when I have my hair retied I usually don't have like that many like wisp like edges out to lay down because typically like my new growth is in the lock then after I retie but I've noticed that there's just a lot more fuzziness around my edges I've also noticed that it, there seems to be just um whenever I'm retightening it, it feels as though I my hair is thickening up and I don't know if that's all in my head or if it really is working. However, I do really enjoy using this to oil my scalp. So I use it to oil my scalp. I use it to do hot oil treatments and I really, really enjoy it. If you all have any questions, please let me know. I definitely enjoyed this process. Also, if you're interested in um, herbs for hair growth, I suggest you check out the links below. Really enjoyed this process. It was fun. I'm not the biggest DIYer on this platform, but I like a good DIY every now and again. It's just kind of fun to like get your hands dirty and to try something new. So that's what we did. We tried something new and I like it. I, I'm just obsessed with how it looks. You all know I'm a sucker for packaging. Like, are you kidding me? Like, look at that. So freaking cute. So yeah, please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you guys so much for your support. Peace and blessings, guys. Bye.